Why would the Leaf Pro Valley Company, why would LPVC do something that everybody else does since we never do that anyway? <laughs> so I thought, well, what would make ours different? And first of all, because we are an adult company, the focus is more on an adult uh, storytelling. The characters are the adults that we're following. So that already took it away from the story of Clara. And it's like, all right, well, what, what is our story? And because also I like the idea that we give the hardest working character her own story. And that's also something I think is, makes us unique um, is the focus on on that character as opposed to a princess or somebody who becomes a princess. We follow Nora the maid instead of Clara who just goes back to bed. For people who are familiar with Nutcracker, they know that it begins at this big party with um, the Stahlbaum family and, you know, starring Clara and Fritz. And Drosselmeyer arrives with these dolls, these giant dolls, and a gift of a Nutcracker for Clara. The Nutcracker becomes the centerpiece for the story. Um, in our show, it's, you know, we do begin with all of that, um, but the centerpiece ends up being a snow globe instead of the Nutcracker doll. Um, and that is given from Drosselmeyer to Nora, who is the maid. And in most Nutcrackers, there's always a maid, there's always one that's usually for like comic effect, and sort of in the background, maybe, you know, handing out drinks. And in ours, uh, we want to see what her story is because she's the one who's doing all the work. And so when we get to the battle scene, we see her, she's there as well. And so from that moment on, when she becomes a part of the big battle, um, our stories diverge. For Nora, she really wants to have something more than what she has. So Clara is content, she's a child, but Nora comes from, you know, she's a working class character and she wants more. And so that I think is something that we can all identify with, that desire to have another magical life. One of the things that was really important to me was to uh, utilize the same music that was done in the original because it's really iconic and it's great music to dance to and to choreograph to. It's very, it's got a lot of, you know, it's, it's very rich. Um, but to very, you know, to stay away from everything that had been done in the past, from the very beginning with the overture music and everything, it's like I wanted to apply it in a completely different way to what our story was. I'm pleasantly surprised at how well it can be used, the current music, the music that we're using can be used to tell our story and how we can interpret it in, in the way that we need it to be. So that I think has been, that's been a lot of fun and I find like little nice musical surprises here and there. One of the things I think that is, that keeps me really excited about doing this show is that there are a lot of little twists and mysteries that you don't expect. And I'm not gonna tell you what they are because I want them to be a surprise to you, but that is something that I kind of like, little Easter eggs in my mind, like, oh, okay, this is gonna be really cool. People aren't gonna expect this. Um, and so I love those little twists in the storytelling and you know what we see on stage and the, and the characters. I think that it's gonna be a lot of fun.